it really emerged out of the killing of Philando Castile because here you had a black man in Minnesota who was pulled over by the police um, and the police officer asked to see his ID. Following NRA guidelines, Philando Castile alerted the officer that he had a license to carry weapon with him, but he was reaching for his ID as the officer had asked. The police officer immediately then put five bullets into Philando Castile. Not for brandishing a weapon, not for threatening him, but for merely having a weapon. And then the NRA went silent. You know, the NRA, the defender of the Second Amendment, goes silent when a licensed gun owner is gunned down for no other reason than having a gun. The NRA that called federal officers jackbooted government thugs um, after Ruby Ridge and after Waco goes silent. And so the question was, do black people have Second Amendment rights? That's where this book came from. And what's the answer to that question? No. It sounds, no. Um, the, it's to understand the history of the Second Amendment, that it was really born out of anti-blackness. It was born out of a fear of black people. It was born out of a description of African Americans as being dangerous, a threat to white society. It came out of a fear of slave insurrections. It came out of a fear that free blacks would help those who were enslaved. And so it was, how do we protect the white community from the black threat?